Hey guys, it's Siler, and you might be surprised by the new TF2 update that has a lot of things in it, but I'm just going to explain all of this in a little nutshell video that shouldn't last that long. So, right now I'm looking at the TF2 page um, about the update, I'm just going to explain about pretty much everything that has to do with this. Um, to get started, there are some new workshop items, and there are new summer coolers, which happens to be, I think, a type of crate. Um, a lot of new um, bug fixes, MVM, if all team members unready, the countdown will stop. There are a lot of more bug fixes, or bug fixes. And then with the maps, for most of the maps, it's just um, little bug fixes that have to do with a little um, ledge or a little hitbox that ruins a jump, or something that has to do with the spawn gates of stuff. It's mostly just bug fixes. It's not a change to the map, just hitboxes, little things like that. Now, the main part about this now is the items. A lot of item changes, a lot of nerfs, buffs, but no new items, I believe. Wait. Yeah, but I'm just going to explain to you every single buff and nerf so you actually get what's happening, alright? First of all, a lot of new hats can now be painted, which include um, the Chieftain's Talonge, the Lord Coxwain's Pith Helmet, 70's Chap Bow, the Canine Mane, the Stovepipe Shaco, the Pounding Father, and the Vox Diabolus. Um... A lot of sets, the Public Enemy, Urban Professional, and Dumpster Diver will now show up in the game UI. Um, cursed items are now renameable. Strange Bacon Grease can now be gift wrap. A few little bug fixes. And then we're going to get on to the new stuff. All the really cool stuff. The buffs. The nerfs you might not like. But anyways, let's get started. First of all, the Criticola. There's no, no more mini crit damage. Instead, you just take more damage. 25% to be exact. Moving on is the shortstop, and the shortstop, when you deploy the shortstop, you get a 20% bonus healing while you have it out. And the problem is you get an 80% vulnerability to all push forces while deployed, which means pretty much any weapons that do knockback, like a force of nature. The winger has not been nerfed in any way, but instead has been buffed with a plus 25% jump height bonus while active, so you have to have it out. The special delivery set and all the other sets, the poly count pack, they have all been taken away. And all you do is leave a calling card on your victims, which is kind of disappointing for me. But I get it because really just because you have a hat and a couple of weapons does not mean you have special bonuses. I mean, really. Now with the battalion's backup, which is one of the backpacks for soldier, you get an additional 15% damage resistance to all teammates while you have the banner active. And Rage is now generated from damage dealt instead of damage received, which I love. Now he can kill people and get the buff instead of taking damage and going to health kits and repeating. Black Box just changes sounds. The Beggar's Bazooka, a lot of bug fixes. Um, also, now that if you have a misfired rocket, it will take one rocket away from the clip. So basically, you can't keep misfiring to kill yourself. Um, with the conch, rage is now generated only from damage dealt, and now, which is really surprising, buffed players now get a speed boost. Whoa. That's just weird. Cow Mangler has been nerfed in so many ways, it's not even funny. Alright, reduced kip clip size from 5 to 4, reduced damage by 10%, removed 5% slow reload attribute, which doesn't really matter. Added, um, sets player on a fire description thing, and there's new particles and sounds. The escape plan, which I know is in a lot of competitive for the roaming soldier, there's been a couple of buffs, and actually only one. It is um similar to what was it? Uh, the Gru, um, with the heavy. What happens is if you uh you if you have it out, you'll get marked for death, which is just you take mini crits, and at, when you put it back into your holster and you pull out another weapon for a short period after, you'll still take mini crits. So basically, while you're running away, you take mini crits. That's just bad. Liberty Launcher, now you have regular four rockets per clip because they took her out, took out the clip penalty, and you get an extra, I mean, minus 25% reduced damage, excuse me for that. So basically, less damage to yourself. It's just like a nerfed gun. I don't know why they do that. Oh yeah, because if you're jumping, if you're rocket jumping, it does less damage to you. Um, the original new rocket explosion sounds, tank buster set has been disappeared, removed, and now you have a calling card on your victims. The flog, if you go to a supply cabinet while you have the flog out, you, instead, there was a bug where if you go to supply cabinet, you will basically lose the buff, lose the oomph, but nope, you can have it back now. Power jack, which I use regularly, I get extra speed, 15% actually, and 20% vulnerability to all sources, which is kind of bad. So it's kind of like the escape plan. 
You can go faster, but you take more damage. Gas Jockey's gear has also been removed. You had a calling card. Charging Torch now is an afterburn immunity, so Pyros want you all watch out. That Charging Torch demo is now your next worst enemy. Loose Cannon Range no longer affects direct cannonball impact damage. Reduced charge time to one second and a double donk. So directly after impacting an enemy without half a second before the bomb explosion sounds and new particle effects, the double donk now does mini crits. So it's a cool thing with the loose cannon. Um, another set has been removed. So basically all sets have been removed. I'm not even going to repeat that now. Buffalo Steak Sandwich. Instead of taking um, mini crits, you just take 25% more damage. The Locos Bar, you get more health. So every bite, instead of getting 15 health, you get 25. Gunslinger fixed a bug where mini sentries heal while being constructed, which is really good. Rescue Ranger, a uh, little more damage. And increased building healing from 50 to 75 per bolt. So basically extra 25%. Short Circuit, uh, ammo cost reduced when you destroy a projectile like a... Rocket or a roller. Wrangler, you have slightly reduced accuracy. And Projective Shield now fades only one second after. Crusader's Crossbow changed arrow projectile to a huge syringe. Whoa. New trail effect smoothed out reload animation. It's not going to change your DPS. And fixed being able to heal players that are using, let's say, the equalizer or the escape plan. Quick fix, plus 50% overheal, which is also not that bad. Uber, You can now Uber yourself with the kit quick fix by yourself. You don't need a pocket if you're a medic. And shotguns with pushback like the force of nature no longer affect you if you are under Uber. So you can't get, like, air blasted off and stuff. Vaccinator, you can now fully absorb crit damage from the selected type. So if you have, let's say, fire resistance and then pyro with crits comes over, let's say with a flog or whatever, you basically absorb all damage. You're like uber charge to the max bizarre bargain you have a lower starting charge um and you cap the max charge rate to 20 percent. and we're not even done this is a lot so cozy camper no movement penalty but you take more damage darwin's danger shield added bullet damage taken reduced so you take less bullet damage and you still have that plus 25 health but you take more explosive damage so you're more prone to soldiers and demos uh, dead ringer now this is one that people have been talking about all the time if you dead ring and you take damage while you're under dead ring mode your cloak goes down basically so you need to stay away from people who are still spy checking you even after you faint your death latronje or the let ranger or however you say it you get a 40 percent increased cloak duration when you have it which i think is kind of bad um, Spicicle fixed a bug, and the Sauron set has already been gone. So, thank you for watching my quick nutshell review, which kind of wasn't that quick, but anyways, as always, see you guys next time.